This is DC lesson number six, series circuits, skills practice or skills demonstration or practical demo, whichever you'd like to call it. So series circuit objectives. We're going to demonstrate that resistance increases as more resistances are added into a series circuit. We're going to demonstrate the current in a series circuit is the same throughout the circuit. And we're going to demonstrate that the voltages around a series circuit are the sum of the applied voltages. Quick risk assessment, uh, electric shock, we're just going to keep everything under 50 volts. In actual fact, we're going to keep it under 5, so it's E or V. Um, some of the resistors, they're 10 watt rated. They could get up to the full 10 watts and get quite hot, so you've got to be careful of that. And trips and falls, make sure we keep our leads and things well up off floors, etc, etc. So here's my uh, basic circuit. We're going to uh, connect it up. The circuit diagram on the right hand side and the actual connection of it. You can see there in the photo on the left hand side. So basically I've got a 10 ohm resistor, a 4K 7 ohm resistor and a lamp in series with a 4.5 volt battery. And you can see them a bit more clearly there. My battery across the back and then my light, the lamp. And then the two resistors are down here on the front of the little training aid. So as part of this, uh, I'll just turn my um, pen on. So our basic circuit, you can see here, we have our batteries connected together across the back to give us about 4.5 five of a volt and you can see off the positive of the battery that's the battery positive at this end through the first resistor up through the second resistor through to the lamp then from the lamp back to the negative or the back end of the battery so we'll be looking at the currents around the circuit will be one of the first things we're looking at so we're going to be looking at uh, current in here current in here, current in here, and then finally current in here to demonstrate that all of those currents should be of the same value. So firstly, we're going to look at resistance. My lamp is 5.98 ohms of resistance. Uh, the R1 is 10, and if you look carefully, you can see the 10R here, and R2 is 4.7. And again, if you look carefully, you'll see 4R7, meaning 4.7 ohms, giving me a total of 20.68 ohms total for my circuit. So first we're going to look at the, the, uh, the current, and you can see here I've put the ammeter now into the circuit. And I've got it in here between the plus on the battery. goes down here through into my meter, back along the leads, and back up into here. So I'm measuring that first initial part of the input of the circuit. And you can see I've got a reading of 196, or very close to 196 milliamps. So that's what's measured here. What was calculated is we know what the voltage is. We knew the voltage was uh, 4.37 and we had about 20.7 ohms giving us we should be having a current about 211 milliamps well you know as far as an average goes it's probably pretty close to 200 milliamp average so very very close um, percentage errors in the instruments would account for that slight bit of error so again the next step is we you can see i've moved the uh, ammeter across and we're now measuring in this loop here between the resistors and we're still getting our 196 milliamps hasn't changed so we got current measured in here and we got 196 now we're measuring current over here we're still getting 196 so demonstrating the current has remained the same and finally I've put the uh, 
em đây đây we had it in here then we put it in here and now I finally put it between the battery and the end so you can see here meter and back and again still measuring 196 milliamps so from an accuracy perspective we're about four plus or minus four percent out but close enough to demonstrate that basically the current does not change anywhere in a DC series circuit. Now we need to think about voltage and uh, again we're thinking about Kirchhoff's voltage laws now. So on this slide we're looking at 4.376 volts so we're just looking at the voltage across the supply across the battery. So you can see up here I'm on the plus side of the battery and on the minus side of the battery down here. So simply that's the applied voltage 4.376. Next we're going to look at the three voltages around the circuit. So first across the 10R here, across the 10 ohms, we're getting 2.092. That's where that's coming from. The second one, we're across the second resistor here. That's the 4.7. And you can see the display is telling us 0.984. So that's where that's coming from. And then finally, our lamp, which is uh, 5.98. And it's reading 1.258. So that's where that voltage is coming from. If we add up all our voltages, we get 4.334, and the battery measurement was 4.37. So big tick, um, all our voltages add up to almost exactly the same as the voltage drops around the circuit, as we would expect from Kirchhoff's voltage laws. So does it all add up? So what I've done is I've now gone backwards the other way and I've said if we've got 10 ohms and 200 milliamps, so I've used 200 milliamps as kind of the average for all the currents, so the current doesn't change in each of the circuits, 200 milliamps, 200 milliamps, and if we actually did the math, this one comes out at 2 volts and the meter comes out at so close to 2 volts, it doesn't matter. For this resistor here, it came out at 0.94 and the motor comes out at 2.94 and just to hammer it completely home, we've got 1.28 here and we get 1.2 calculated up here for our 6 ohms at 200 milliamps. So yes, it does all fit with Ohm's law. R10 measured 2.092 and it calculated 2 volts. R2 measured at 0.984 and it measured 0.94. And the lamp calculated at uh, 1.25 and it was 1.2. So again, tick, tick, tick. Um, our Kirchhoff's law works and our Ohm's law works around our series circuit. So what are our observations? Well, the first is that resistance does increase as more resistance is added into the circuit. So more resistors you put in series in a series circuit, the larger the resistance will get. The current in a series circuit is the same throughout. As long as the resistance doesn't change and the voltage doesn't change, then the current must be the same throughout. Was Kirchhoff's voltage law proved? Well, the answer is yes. All the voltages around a series circuit are the sum of the applied voltage and we prove that in two different directions both by calculation and by measurement. So that ends our DC lesson 6 skills demo on series circuits.